Handbrake's a program that allows you to pre-transcode your videos so that slower computers can process bigger video files. Now I have a file called bigfile.mov and I'm going to want to transform it into an mp4 file with my handbrake. So I'm going to select format mp4 file and make sure that the video codec is readable by Vital. So make sure it's an x264. The frame rate has to be a constant frame rate. Uh, Vital doesn't work with variable frame rates like some DVDs have for instance. Um, and you're going to want to set a constant average bitrate and turn on two pass encoding for more accuracy. The audio settings, you can leave it at any AAC or MP3 um, codec, and you're going to want to take the mix down to stereo um, and set a bit rate of 96 because that's about how good um, most people can hear. You're not going to use subtitles because you want to use VLC for subtitles, it's just better that way, and you want to turn off um, 8x8 transform, weighted P frames, and B pyramidal frames just because VLC 1.1 doesn't handle those very well. And then you can uh, press start to start the transcoding. Uh, I just skipped ahead to what the screen looks like when it's done. You're going to get an mp4 file. It's actually important to rename your file to mp4. So instead of just mkv, like on this Mac, you're going to go to Beetle and broadcast, and you want to broadcast from file. The important thing here is that you want to set the quality at pre transcoded because otherwise your video will be transcoded twice, uh, once live and once pre-transcoded, and that's just not good. Um, this preview is a bit laggy at first, and it may seem choppy, but actually it's pretty good because this is just a slow motion video, and um, the video is now playable on slower computers because you pre-transcoded it. So that's the main benefit of using Handbrake, just to emphasize once again.